Welcome to A Taste of Home Cake Crate. Uh, we are getting ready to ship out our May cake crate and I wanted to show you what we have. Uh, hopefully you're receiving this. If not, uh, you can order for June. Uh, just go to mycakecrate.com and get your order in and, and you'll, you'll receive the June crate. Uh, so for May, uh, I'm pretty excited. I think it's a really flavorful month. Uh, I think there's a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, so as you may or may not be aware, if you've ordered a Taste of Home cake crate before, you certainly are aware. Uh, if you're not, if it's your first time uh, checking us out, uh, a Taste of Home cake crate is a monthly subscription of homemade, made from scratch baked goods. Uh, and each month you receive a large cake in a cup. It's about, this. This month it's a little over half a pound or so. Some months it's as much as like three quarters of a pound of cake. It really depends on the type of cake. But you get a, a large cake in a cup. You'll get four cake pops, some fresh baked cookies, and a mystery item each month. Uh, so we're gonna pack it up. Everything's shipping out in, uh, in a couple days. Uh, I've been working really hard. Uh, it is just me that does it, so uh, <laughs> it, it can be a lot to do. Uh, but anyways, I'm excited to show you what we have this month. Uh, to start uh, with our cake in a cup, uh, we are sending a banana walnut cake with maple buttercream. So just like it sounds, so it's fresh uh, banana walnut cake layered with a creamy, uh, light maple flavored buttercream. Everything again is made from scratch. Uh, when you receive it, uh, you will get a uh, ingredients list. Uh, certainly some people can't have nuts, in which case it's right in the name so you know you can't have it. Uh, so share it with a friend. Uh, and I'll talk more about that a little bit uh, later. Uh, for our uh, cake pops this month, we're doing uh, just a classic vanilla cake pop dipped in milk chocolate. Uh, so you get four of these. Um, each month, you know, the flavors change each month, and those are super tasty. This month's uh, cookie of the month is a cake batter chocolate chip funfetti cookie. Uh, so you have four uh, cookies this month coming to you. Uh, anywhere from three to six each month, depending on the size and the type of cookie that that I make, you'll get anywhere from three to six cookies. So this month you're getting four. Uh, and for our mystery item this month, I'm super excited about this. Um, it is our lemon pie bars, or my lemon pie bars. Um, each month I do a mystery item, uh, and it's so much of a mystery, a lot of times I don't know what it's gonna be until I start baking that week. Uh, I try to give it a lot of thought try to give something or make something that maybe I haven't ever made before. Uh, it allows me to experiment, I'll be a little bit creative, um, and try something new. Uh, so what inspired me to make these uh, was the fact that I used to actually have a cake shop, uh, my own retail brick and mortar shop up in Rhode Island called Fantastic Cakes. Uh, and one of the things we sold was lemon squares that uh, quite honestly, I did not make them. I actually got them from uh, a local bakery down the street because they were just so amazingly good and, and it just wasn't something that I had time to do or really knew how to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and But people love them and I, and I love selling them. They tasted so good. So this is sort of an homage to that, if you will. Uh, I didn't want to do actual lemon squares because uh, I don't think the lemon would have traveled well you know, without it being encased in something. So we went with little lemon pies. Uh, I suggest that if you are getting these this month, uh, maybe even throw them in a toaster for a couple minutes, warm them up, they'll be super yummy. So that's what we have coming to you this month. Uh, I'm really excited for it. Uh, a little bit of an announcement. I had posted this uh, last week on Instagram. Uh, people have always asked me about doing uh, a nut-free subscription plan of a Taste of Home Cake Crate, and and I really never felt that I was in a position to do that. Uh, you know, I'm one person, I have a relatively small kitchen that I work in, 
um, and I take allergies very seriously. My daughter has a lot of food allergies, so I, I really try to be very careful. Uh, so I did decide, starting with the June cake crate, uh, that I am offering a nut-free option uh, with all our plans. Uh, when you go to mycakecrate.com and you go to the shop page, uh, there'll be nut-free options of each plan. Um, but just make sure you read the details within the plan. They are nut free, but they are not nut free. <laughs> so my kitchen is not nut free. I, I occasionally work with peanuts. I occasionally work with tree nuts. Um, so there is nuts in, the, in my house. Uh, so if you order a nut free plan, uh, you won't get anything in your box that physically contains nuts within any of the items. So what you will receive is either a nut-free version of whatever item may contain nuts in it, or you'll receive something extra of uh, one of the items. For example, <clears throat> this month it's banana walnut cake. It, that's just what it is, it's banana walnut. Uh, so if you order a nut-free plan, instead of getting this, you would get an extra order of cake pops or an extra order of cookies or an extra mystery item, depending what uh, I feel that I can accommodate it with. It, it, it would be at my discretion. You can't choose uh, what you would like to get, at least not at this point. Uh, now, if I can make a nut-free version of a particular item, I will do that. For example, <clears throat> if this was a peanut butter cup cake in a cup, which would be chocolate cake with peanut butter buttercream, you would still get the cake in a cup, but instead of having peanut butter buttercream, you would get vanilla buttercream. So it would just be chocolate and vanilla. Uh, so again, it's, it's nut-free in theory. It is not nut-free uh, as far as my, my, my kitchen is concerned. So I, I just want to, I know there was a lot of words to say that, but I just want to make sure that everyone is really clear when they order. Uh, that being said, I cannot at this time accommodate any other food allergies. Uh, so it's really just peanuts and nuts we're talking about. Uh, so if you have other allergies you're concerned about, I, I, I cannot accommodate that. Uh, however, you do receive a list, full list of ingredients each month. So you can decide based on what, what you get, look at the ingredients. If you can't eat something, I'm sorry, uh, share it with someone, uh, which, that's okay too because then maybe they'll want to order their own uh, the following month. Um, so that being said, this is what we have for this month. Uh, I hope that you ordered and are getting one. If you're not, I really hope you will consider going to mykcrate.com and ordering your own subscription. Uh, I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm certainly trying to grow that and I'm hoping to post a lot more videos uh, in the future, maybe do some tutorials of, of what, I, what I like to put in my crates, uh, a little something for everyone. Um, also, I'm going to list in the description the different other YouTube channels, uh, specifically unboxing channels that have been so awesome about helping spread the word about A Taste of Home Cake Crate. Uh, I'll list all the, um, all the channels in the description where you can visit probably starting at the end of this week uh, because their crates will be shipped out uh, on Tuesday as well. So they, most of them will receive it by Thursday or Friday and, and they're all pretty good about posting uh, their unboxings relatively quick. So in about a week, you can go to any of those uh, YouTube channels and see what they think about a Taste of Home Cake Crate this month. And every one of them also has a discount code uh, where if you order with that code, you receive 10% off your first order. So thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe, share uh, with your friends. I'd love to, to you know, grow my audience. Also comment down below if you see something you like, if you have any suggestions of what you think you'd like to see in a cake crate. And I'd also like to know what you think of this. Ooh. Uh, this is sort of my new area that I'm gonna be uh, recording most of my videos in right now. It's just my little breakfast nook. Um, tell me what you think, if it looks okay, because 
I can't tell. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking me out.